Hi guys, uh, so this is Hayden. Can you say hi? Hi, she's my daughter, and she's got a bear costume because one time she was in a wedding and she was the ring bearer. But anyway, she saw Steve's costume and she wanted to surprise him because of that. What does the bear say? Rawr. Can you say rawr at the camera? Rawr! Rawr! Well, should we uh, go scare Steve? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, sneak up on him. Okay. Go see Hey! <gasps> you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> You look amazing! Look at this, Aiden! Oh! Do spin! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah look at you, bear! Stop hogging the bear, Lee. <laughs> the bears have a sickle too. <laughs> you wanna do a bear dance? It's only for bears. I'm not allowed to do it. Yeah, I like a bear costume. I don't have a bear costume. You do have a dino one. I do have a dino costume. Where is it? It's over there. <laughs> I never wanted to wear this costume again. But when your daughter wants you to put on a dinosaur yeah. costume, you put on a dinosaur costume! What are you doing? <laughs> you told me to put this I didn't on. tell you, you to do else? that. We heard there's another bear here. And you need to find it. You want to go find the bear? Let's go find the bear. Hey, please find the bear. Everybody stop what you're doing, we're on a bear adventure. We're looking for the real bear hidden somewhere at the SourceFed office. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> hey, let's go find that bear. Uh-oh. Oh God! I love the costume. Thank you. I think the bear is far, far away from here. Oh, it's a clue! Steve! Let's go, let's go! Nope, no bear. I think it's a real bear. See there? Oh, so close. Is it under this box? Look, man. Have you ever seen a bear? I don't know what kind of powers bears have. She said he passed by a while ago. Oh, another clue. He's not here, and he's not here. Hayden, do you have any tracking skills that I don't know of? You found food on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> she probably shouldn't have eaten that cheese. It. That's definitely big enough to make it of interest. Wait a minute. Is that another clue? Look what we found. Yuki! We found Yuki! Okay, hold on We're a just, second. We don't need that. That's actually, that, that was there for Poor a reason. Yuki. Maybe Yuki can help us find the bear. Go, go that way. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Go ahead and ride in a Yuki dance! This keeps making me itch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think needs to happen, Hayden? I think in order for us to communicate with that bear, you need to go give him a big hug. Can you give that bear a bear, bear hug? Him? Can you bear hug the bear? You want me to go? Yeah, I'm sure it's a friendly bear. Yeah, I'm sure it's a friendly bear. Well, oh, okay, here I go. Hey, Mr. Bear, how you doing, buddy? Nice to meet you. Oh, see, he's not evil at all. Oh, he's got me! Ah! You won't let go! Go save Steve! Steve! Yeah. Ah! Damn it. Oh! Yay! Yeah. You oh. saved me! She saved me! Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saving me. The adventure is over. Hayden has found the editor bear at SourceFed. This is amazing. And now there's only one thing left to do, and that's dance. into the mouth. No. <laughs> I think he really wants it. <laughs> I just wanted to sit here for a second and uh, because Father's Day is coming up. What do you think of your daddy? 
I love my daddy. You love your daddy? Mwah, I love you too. One of the greatest memories of my dad is probably every Thanksgiving we would go to the woods and we would uh, sit in trees and we would wait for large animals to pass. And then when they would pass... I call those my would shoot them. You know, my favorite Father's Day memory is uh, my dad taking me out and telling me, Yatta! Yatta! Oh wait, sorry, let me translate. <laughs> he basically said, son, I don't love you until you go out and you kill an animal. And I said, you know what, dad? That's not gonna happen. And I said, bye, buddy. And I was out of there. I've never seen him, I've never seen my dad since that moment. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> He used to tell me bedtime stories every single night and he made his hands into these little characters. And it was basically just a way to like give us hugs and give us love and, and I love you very, 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 very much. This is my dad and I passed out on a ferry coming back from Catalina Island. My dad loves metal and he was in a band for a while and that's definitely blood into my life. I love music, so. My dad is a uh, super supporter of everything we do here at SourceFed. Todd Hafner, uh, I strive every day to be like you and you set a great example for me growing up and you know, Hope you uh, enjoy this episode. My favorite memory with my dad is having him read to me every night when I was little and he'd do voices for like every character and that made my childhood man. Happy Father's Day. Happy Baby Daddy Day. Happy Father's Day. My dad is a huge Metallica fan, but he also likes Coldplay. He is always willing to help me out and I always appreciate it. I'd just like to say Happy Father's Day. Dad, you mean a lot to me. My dad, Lamar Bowman, coolest name, coolest dude. I always have a fond memory of uh, him putting on his yes records on vinyl and I would be a little kid, take my shirt off, dirty south, you know, it's hot, and I would rub my back on the carpet and listen to his yes albums. Happy Father's Day, I love you. My dad would just, uh, would pick me up and put me on his shoulders, but instead of like sitting down on his shoulders, he would make me stand up on top of his shoulders and it scared the shit out of me, but it's really cool. <laughs> That's my dad. I've talked about my favorite dad memory before, um, but another one that I, I, I have is my dad and I, we share an experience of ordering Domino's pizza back in the day where they had to get it to you in time and then being as quiet as possible so that the guy would eventually go over the 30 minute mark and we would get pizza together. I think that really summarizes the relationship of my dad and I. Not gonna win any uh, awards for that story, but. One of the reasons I take so much pride in being a father is one, because it's easy with this little one. But my dad did such a good job raising me and being there for us that I take pride in just the attempt at trying to be half the father that my dad was. So I would like to say Happy Father's Day to my father and I want to say thank you for being the best kid ever. Love you. I love you too. I love you too.